The Empire of Reason, How Europe Imagined and America Realized the Enlightenment, by Henry Steele Commager is a thought-provoking exploration of the Enlightenment's impact on both Europe and America. In this book, Commager examines how the Enlightenment, a period marked by intellectual and philosophical revolutions, manifested differently in these two regions. Through meticulous analysis and engaging prose, he sheds light on the contrasting ways in which reason, liberty, and progress were embraced and implemented. Commager argues that while Europe envisioned the Enlightenment as a largely intellectual and theoretical movement, America turned it into a practical and transformative force that shaped the nation's identity and destiny. To substantiate this thesis, Commager delves into various facets of the Enlightenment, emphasizing its ideals, influences, and outcomes. One of Commager's central arguments is the distinction between European and American Enlightenment. He contends that in Europe, the Enlightenment primarily existed within the realm of ideas, flourishing in the salons and academies of the intellectual elite. It was a movement characterized by philosophical discussions, literary works, and political treatises, but its impact on society was limited. In contrast, America adopted the Enlightenment as a practical guide for action. The American Enlightenment, as Commager describes it, was deeply rooted in the daily lives of ordinary citizens. It found expression in the principles of the American Revolution, the drafting of the Constitution, and the establishment of a democratic government. Commager identifies key Enlightenment thinkers who influenced the American Revolution and the Founding Fathers, such as John Locke, Montesquieu, and Voltaire. These philosophers' ideas on natural rights, separation of powers, and the pursuit of happiness had a profound impact on the formation of American political thought. Commager also underscores the pivotal role of Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Thomas Paine in translating these Enlightenment ideas into the American context. Franklin's pragmatism, Jefferson's eloquence, and Paine's radicalism played essential roles in shaping the American Revolution and the subsequent nation-building process. Furthermore, Commager explores the role of religion in the Enlightenment, both in Europe and America. In Europe, the Enlightenment often clashed with established religious institutions and dogma. Philosophers like Voltaire and Rousseau were vocal critics of organized religion. However, in America, the Enlightenment was more compatible with religious beliefs. Commager highlights how American religious leaders, such as Jonathan Edwards and George Whitefield, contributed to the Enlightenment by promoting the idea of individual conscience and religious tolerance. Commager also discusses the Enlightenment's impact on education, science, and culture. He points out how American colleges and universities, inspired by Enlightenment ideals, were founded to produce educated citizens capable of participating in a democratic society. Scientific inquiry and technological innovation flourished in America, leading to advancements in various fields. The Enlightenment's emphasis on reason and empiricism laid the foundation for the scientific achievements of the 19th and 20th centuries. The book's narrative is enriched by Commager's eloquent prose and meticulous research. He skillfully weaves together historical events, biographical sketches, and intellectual currents to provide a comprehensive picture of the Enlightenment's influence on both sides of the Atlantic. Commager's writing is accessible to both scholars and general readers, making complex ideas and historical contexts easily digestible. In conclusion, The Empire of Reason, by Henry Steele Commager offers a compelling analysis of the Enlightenment's dual nature in Europe and America. Commager convincingly argues that while Europe imagined the Enlightenment as a theoretical and intellectual movement, America realized it as a practical and transformative force that shaped the nation's identity and institutions.
Through careful examination of key figures, ideas, and historical developments, Commager provides a nuanced and insightful account of this pivotal period in history. His book serves as a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding the enduring legacy of the Enlightenment on both sides of the Atlantic.